Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. So tell me about um, what's so important about on-farm trials. You can learn about what works good in your region and for your particular farm with your particular equipment for yourself and also with the government cutting back research dollars you can learn stuff that you can not find widely available online or that has not been done and you just have the ability to do it yourself and at least get a rough idea it's also a very handy tool for uh, checking to see whether these products which are somewhat controversial some of the micros and stuff whether they're actually working or not on your particular farm everybody's soil is different so it may work in Lethbridge may not work here or especially what may work in northern Alberta is completely different in southern Alberta. So do you think it has a really big benefit from that regional aspect? From the regional aspect definitely like I mean we're here in Claire's home if you look behind me or behind the camera you'll see the foothills we're only a half an hour away here in the foothills you can even grow a grain crop up there if you wanted to and uh, we're a little bit different microclimate a little cooler less heat units wetter shorter growing season and it's great for some things but it's just a completely different different microclimate from Lethbridge and it's completely different from even Calgary right so we can come up with stuff that works for us. So why do you think more farmers don't do on-farm trials? Um, time it is a little bit of work not so much in this field like right now these two drills you see in the background here they can uh, they don't right now in this particular piece but if they're doing research the prescriptions would be preloaded into the field computer in the cab and they would automatically do it but I mean all of that you got to set up in the winter you got to get your research methodology figured out and it just takes time and I mean you got to have have the equipment like there we got the it, the field computer comes with the drill anyways and the auto steers there so it's no extra money in equipment you just got to learn how to utilize it and I mean admittedly some guys don't have that equipment and that's fine but I mean even just simple check strips make is you'll actually learn more from your mistakes and simple check strips than you do from some of the more elaborate trials I have ran. So do you think it's a, a cost issue that's, that's stopping farmers? A cost and time. It does take time and you're a winner and you're always thinking and I mean it does add if you're not careful and you're not well well if, if you haven't had some practice it can actually be a little stressful in the spring. I know the first couple of years we started these elaborate trials the equipment's not working right? It's supposed to work you planned you planned you planned and the equipment's not working and that just adds one more stress to seeding or spraying or harvest and uh, you just learn to deal with it and you know what sometimes you just end up well I'm gonna combine and or I'm gonna seed and you just forget about your trial and try again next year like it's not it's one of those things if it's not easy don't do it and you just try to strive to make it as easy as possible so so how much land do you dedicate to an on-farm trial? Um, <laughs> The individual strips, it all depends on what's working and what we're doing. Like I know we've done some stuff where like if it's a fairly expensive product, we'll just do one tank or two tanks. Like seeding trials, it's usually, we try to go by the tank full. Um, like here, if we're doing a seed, we've done lots of inoculant trials and seed treatment trials. And like right now, if I mix up a batch in my seed treater, it'll fill each drill once. And so it all depends, like it'll be anywhere from, I mean, that's an 80 acre trial, right? And especially with two drills usually working separately, you'll get them in two spots of the field to get repeatability. And uh, But it's got to be simple. And sometimes if it's a little more expensive, I'll mix it up for one drill. Spraying, it's usually a whole tank. Like we just do tank loads. Like we don't. I have one trial, which is a fertility trial, and it's very, very intensive. And that's uh, and that's as small as I've ever gone. I think they're 15 acre strips. So how does a farmer get started with an, um, if they want to start on, on farm trials? Uh, the first step is to learn how to use your technology and see if your technology can do it. But I mean, the way we started, we started mostly with the sprayer. And, oh, we're just going to try this chemical. And we'd do 80 acres of a field with this chemical and 80 acres with another. And then you just pull it up on the yield map and see, right? And then we slowly moved into seeding. And just as I described, you know, do one tank of this and then everything normal, right? And you just try one tank of the new product here and you see what shows up. And I mean, on the scale we're doing it, when you're taking 80 acres to do a trial, I mean, almost every piece of land I got has got some sort of trial on it, just because I'm evaluating so much stuff. But the advantage of it is I've evaluated, there is never a new input put on on this farm anymore that has not gone through at least uh, 
it's got to have some research to back it up, preferably three years of site data. But every new input that ever goes in, uh, well, I guess with the exception of canola varieties, we haven't, we're not running full scale variety trials. We kind of trust the seed growers on that one. But uh, every other input, like every other wheat variety or pea variety has all gone through trials and we just, that's how we evaluate. And it seems to work really well. And I mean, the big thing is you need a yield map and you need to calibrate it. And it's not so much the absolute numbers trends, you know, 